All right, welcome back to another great video. In this video today, we're going to go over IARC ratings. We're going to go ahead and see what answers to choose for your map so you can get approved and get your maps published. We're going to go ahead and publish a map, skip right over to the rating, and then under rating, we're going to go ahead and retake the questionnaire. Now, why would you ever retake a questionnaire? That's a great question. I'm going to answer it for you right now. If you change your thumbnail, you have to retake the questionnaire. If you change your title, you need to retake the questionnaire. If you change anything extremely, if you make any huge changes to your map, you also need to retake the questionnaire. What I mean by changes are not bug fixes, right? You can get away with bug fixes and you can just put them through. This is like adding a season two to your map under the same code or adding a new monster where there was no monster before, stuff like that. As we go through this, it will make more sense. So you're gonna to continue to this. We're gonna go ahead and get a rating. We're gonna choose a game because we're always gonna be doing a game. It's Fortnite Creative. Now under game, we're gonna choose yes for violence, blood, or gory images. The only time you would choose no is if you are doing something where nobody dies. The only instance where I can think of where you would choose no would be something like only up. All right. Only up you when you drop or you fall, you don't die. You just fall to the bottom of the map. Now, if you have fall damage on, if somebody dies to spikes or to lava or to a gun or to any other way, basically, if they die at all or respawn at all, then the answer is yes, because they're technically, quote unquote, dying. All right violence so um only up would be a great example of a non-violent game but in most cases like combat maps the answer is yes and the violence is implied against humans now there are some situations where you would do other than humans these examples would be if you put a creature spawner in your map or you've added a creature or a monster of some sort via sketch fab or you've made one i remember i made a map where i had an evil orb and it talked and it had a a very violent evilness to it so i would have had to choose yes for this in that case so for these two i would choose yes because i either have a creature spawner or some evil villain the uh, other two mainly wouldn't get approved in fortnite anyway so you don't have to worry about that right now now violence against humans is fantastical Fortnite is a fantastical game, not realistic. Realistic is more Call of Duty. Um, Fortnite is more cartoony, therefore it is fantastical. Does your game have pixelated or childlike style? Now, unless you're using all custom materials, the answer is 95% of the time childlike style because that is how Fortnite is designed. It's a childlike game. How would you describe the reactions to violence? unrealistic when someone dies they just hologram away they don't have blood they don't fall to the ground and slowly die it's very unrealistic so you would choose unrealistic how is the violence presented in the game often depicted from a close-up perspective will be 95 percent of the choice this is because we're using pump shotguns we're doing 1v1s or box fights where things are really close and the fight's always really close so you're always safe by just choosing this. It's not going to affect your rating. They just want to know the truth of what's going on in your map. What level of blood and gore is in your map? The answer is 95% of the time, none. That 5% may be, for instance, I had a weird event in one of my maps where I had a little blood VFX going around um, to make it look a little scary. In that case, I would have done mild limited. But... I don't have that, so none. Does the game take place in a realistic or historical setting? Yours may, but mine does not. Most will not. Can innocent or defenseless characters be seriously injured or killed? Most of the time, no. So if you're ever curious about what any of these mean, you can hit the question mark. They'll show you a video. But what they're referring to here is like more like a GTA, where you can rip somebody out of their car, throw them to the ground, rob them, hurt them, etc. Now, would there be a case where you'd have to change this to yes with consequences? Yes. If you had a game where certain players had guns and others were defenseless 
and just had to run away from the people shooting at them, the answer then would be yes with consequences. My game does not do that, so it's no. Are there any fear sounds? So basically this is saying, should we be scared? And some maps you might, you might have an evil bear that screams really loud or an evil villain that's making the whole map, you know, scary. In that case, you'll hit yes. Once again, don't worry, it's not gonna change your rating too much or send it to a place where it's gonna get disapproved. I've done it for a few of my maps and it was just fine. In this case, the answer is no for my map. Violence against non-humans is fantastical. This is a new question that gets brought up if you've chosen uh, that you have a creature spawner in your map or that you've put a creature in, like maybe you went to Sketchfab and downloaded a realistic bear. Now, if you downloaded an animal that looks extremely realistic, then you would have to change this to realistic. But the creature spawner is more fantastical. It looks more cartoony. Does the game have a pixelated or childlike style? Yes. Meaning the creature spawner has a childlike style. The answer is yes. How would you describe the reactions to violence? Unrealistic. When they attack you, it just hits you. You don't move back. You don't see blood. You don't fall to the ground and die. So unrealistic. How is the violence presented in the game? Once again, often depicted from a close-up perspective, you're probably pickaxing the animal, shooting it from close up. What is the level of blood and gore? There is none with the creature spawner, unless you add it, in which case Epic, at least at the time of this recording, would deny it anyway. Do any of the creatures behave or respond like humans? No. Would this ever be a yes? The only instance this would be a yes is if you gave your creature dialogue. If your creature starts talking to a player, the answer then would be yes. Is the is any of the violence against real world animals? If you're using a creature spawner, the answer is yes. You're hurting frogs, you're hurting wolves, you're hurting real animals. So the answer to this is yes if you have a creature spawner. You could say no if you had like a weird blob thing, right? And you're shooting the blob thing. Um, but uh, in this case, if you're using the creature spawner, the answer is most likely yes. I'm not using a creature spawner, so I'm going to choose no. Are there any fierce sounds, sinister or intimidating characters? You would want to choose this once again if maybe your bear or your animal has a really scary sound. The wolves howling, I would say, is not necessarily intimidating. You can say no to the creature spawner. This would be added sounds that you had added in into UEFN. Fear. Does the game contain pictures of scary, horrifying, or disturbing? Now, if you're making horror maps, the answer to this is always yes. Um, you'll click yes, you'll walk through the questionnaire for a horror map, and you're going to choose, you know, is it scary or horrifying elements? This will most likely not get approved by Epic anyway. The most you'll ever get away with is scary. And then it's how frequent are the scary elements, rare or often? Most likely is often. Then you'll go down to sexuality. Hopefully you have none, otherwise Epic will deny it anyway. Gambling. Hopefully you have none because Epic would deny it. Bad language. You have none because Epic would deny it. Same with controlled substance. That's a no. Crude humor. Now why did I blow through those? Because Epic wouldn't allow those in the game anyway. Therefore, no is appropriate for all answers. Miscellaneous. Does the game allow users to chat, basically? Yes. Does the game include the ability to block users? Yes. This is all built in the Fortnite, so the answers to these questions are always going to be yes. Now, would there ever be an instance where this is no? Yes. If you choose to turn voice chat off in your game, or this is a single player game, you can choose no. But if you have more than one player and you have voice chat on, the answer is yes. All the questions are going to be answered yes in this as well. Does the game include the ability to report users? Yes, Fortnite allows that. Uh, can you invite friends, be limited to friends only? Yes, Fortnite allows that. Do you have chat moderation? Yes. Now, some people get confused here. This isn't ad asking if you have a moderator in your chat. This is asking, can you block users or can you mute users if they are being inappropriate to you and you just don't want to talk to them? The answer is yes. Does the game share the user's current and precise physical location? No. At the time of this recording, Epic doesn't allow that. 
uh, Epic doesn't allow this. You can't purchase digital goods, at least at the time of the recording. Does the game contain anything um, like uh, anything bad um, related to different countries of origin? The answer is always no for these because Epic wouldn't allow it anyway. So you're going to choose no for every one of those. And then guess what, guys? You had just finished your rating. You now have a rating right here. The only place 95% of all maps are going to get banned are Russia. Um, and I don't know really a way around that unless you're only up. Um, and, you know, unfortunately, that is just a weird thing. Um, don't worry about that. That's 95% of everyone. Otherwise, guys, you are all set. You just completed an IARC rating. Now, if you still have questions, please comment in the video below. Please like the video if you want to help me out. And also, feel free to join the Discord, and I will try my best to answer your questions, especially if your map keeps getting declined. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, take care.